I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 here. I'm gonna show you how to insert the SIM card. First thing you gotta do is go ahead and eject the SIM and SD card tray slot right here. You have to go ahead and get yourself the ejection tool here. If you don't have this, you can use a back of an earring stud or even like a thin paper clip or a bobby pin as well. If you wanna know where this is, when you open up your box, turn it over, and this pamphlet right here, you have to look over here. This, this will usually get stuck in here, so sometimes you don't even know that this, uh, this booklet here is in here, okay? Anyways, go ahead and look at the top, and you're gonna see that tray right there, and you're gonna see the hole right there, okay? Not the mic, it's this hole right here. You can see the tray right here. So go ahead and get your pin and put it in just like this. Then what you wanna do is just press down a little bit until it pops out, like a little bit, just like that. You can see it's popped out. Now I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab this with my fingers and pull it right out. Now, if we look at it, we have a uh, SIM tray. Your, your SIM card goes here and your SD card goes here, okay? If you, if you wanna put an SD card in, then you're gonna to have to go ahead and pop that in here, okay? Anyways, the direction that you wanna go ahead and put your SIM card in is you just wanna look at it. I mean, you can see that the, the, the hole, the SIM tray hole is on the bottom right-hand side, or an easier way is just look up here. You can see the wording here, it says micro SD right here, so you can read that micro SD back here there's no writing so it says micro SD right here now go ahead and grab your SIM card and I'm gonna be moving from a iPhone 11 Pro to this new Galaxy so let me go ahead and pop out my SIM card here just like that okay so let me go ahead and grab my tray here and let me make sure I can read where it says micro SD okay so it's micro SD here and now if you look at the um, tray right here for the SIM card you can see that diagonal cut right there, the same on here as well. Okay, see that little cut right there? So it fits in here perfect, just like this. And you wanna go ahead and press it into here like a little snap. And then once you hit that little snap, if you turn it over, it should not uh, fall down, okay? Like the iPhones, you just place it in there and if you turn it upside down, it'll fall. With this Galaxy phone here is, you actually have to press down and it kind of snaps into place. Now go ahead and grab your phone, and you can leave it on. They say that you have to turn it off when you um, insert the um, SIM tray. I, I've inserted like a thousand of these. I've never had an issue, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and look on top here, and make sure you put it in the correct way, okay? So you can see the uh, hole right here and the hole up here. So we're just going to go ahead and press it in just like this. This is the first time that I'm actually putting it into this phone too. So right now it says um, emergency calls only. There's no, there's no SIM card that's ever been in here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in right now. And we're going to give this a minute or so, see if it finds it. Let's wait. Hey, what do you know? It already found it right there. My carrier here in the United States is uh, T-Mobile. And we can see we got my bars right there already. And some of you may get this, some of you may not. Okay, anyways, I did get one here. It says service private update. Let me just go ahead and click on OK here. Wait for this update really quickly. All right, it's booting back up now. Okay, we're booted back up here now. Okay, now that uh, my SIM card and everything in here, everything, it looks good. Let me just go into my settings here and then uh, go ahead and tap on connections. And now tap on mobile networks. And then some of you guys, okay, so data roaming for me is um, toggled on by default. Some of you guys may not want data roaming on if you guys get charged, but I have uh, unlimited unlimited data data um, roaming so I can go ahead and leave mine on and just to confirm I mean you can see my network operator you can see mine is uh, T-Mobile here and you can even see the uh, network mode here as well okay so pretty simple I'm up and running any questions or anything or issues uh, just comment below all right this is cloud cloud pink by the way good luck